251 is sort of like the weather. Everybody knows about it, but nobody can do anything about it. So I'm talking about learning to really control 251. So you might pick a key, I say E flat. I'm going to start on the second degree of the Dorian, which then you start to, after a while, realize it resolves to the flat 13, which then resolves on the third of the major. The sixth degree. The nice thing is when you connect these scales, just by connecting them, it already starts to sound like bebop. So this is one way of doing it, a half bar. Or, for example, instead of just playing the scale to that change point in the, in the altered chord, you could do an arpeggio, starting on the one. Or, starting on the third. I'm on the ninth, slides down to the flat 13. Even if you play pretty well on changes, you would do well to work on that. You might be tempted to say, well, he can do that because he's a better player than me. No, it's much more informative to understand the other way around. I'm a better player than you because I can do that.